Hey guys, Jim here today with set number 75345, Bible First Clone Troopers Battle Pack. This is a 6 plus set containing 9, uh, sorry, 119 pieces for minifigures, and this retails for $19.99 in the US, and which I bought for on my trip to California in the Lego store, which is really cool. And I am going to have a quick review of the mistake. So let's get started with these minifigures. Right off the bat, here we have the clone officer, I believe. Yes, I go first, officer. So this is uh, exclusive to this set. All these figures are, except we get two of some of them. Um, though this is not a new helmet part. Uh, this is the same one, the same helmet print that we got in the first Five of Earth Battle Pack. But uh, this is this a new part that I can accommodate putting in this sort of insert, so this has a range finder that can be angled down, and also really kind of difficult to get in when you're trying to film a Lego review, but it can be angled down, and it, it, do, it does really like to fall off a lot, so I would advise caution with that, and his accessory is this pistol here, but uh, there's not really much to say about him, that's, I mean, like, it's cool, it's just a normal but, uh, he has a similar also print to some other 501st things we've gotten before, only he's got a new belt, print in blue, it's really cool, and if you look down there on his legs, you can see he has printed cloth uh, on him, like we don't get a cloth piece, this is just, uh, this, this, we don't get a cloth piece for him, this is just the print that he gets, and then uh, just, this is what his face looks like, and spinning around, you can see just the uh, back of him. Which, uh, blue, that touch of blue right there, which really cool. Blue, 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 so yeah, this might be my, uh, I don't know, my least favorite minifigure in the set. I mean, it's cool to get, but uh, there's this other ones. But he is the most detailed because he does have printing on his hip part, which on the next video you will see is a difference. So the next figure in this set is a heavy trooper. You build two of them. So here they are. They're exactly identical. So we're only going to be taking a look at this guy here. Uh, so yeah, you can see this one has some printing rubbed off there that he came like that. So I'm sorry. This is what it is supposed to look like. If it will focus on this one. Yeah, there you go. It's supposed to have that amount of lines, not that amount of lines. And you can see the same helmet mold that accommodates this visor. But flipping that up, you can see the rest of the, the print. This is, it's kind of funny, it's just like a, uh, essentially a recolor of the Commander Cody we got last year, which is kind of funny. Uh, it looks like a Bible first Commander Cody, but getting rid of that helmet. There he is, the same head color. Whoops, there goes his gun. But, uh, let's just take a look at his gun. It kind of looks like a shotgun, which is really funny, but, uh, yeah, that's what that looks like. So, you know, his face is just... It's his, it's his clone face, so nothing really much going on with him. There's there's some printing suggesting some bandolier armor on the on the torso, and he does not have printing on his hip parts, nor do the rest of the figures in this set. But uh, yeah, spinning around, they do uh, come with backpack parts, which are cool. There you can see there. It's really cool. You do get an extra of this part in the set. Which is awesome. Good exclusive print to get, and he has a black neck attachment part on there. Whoops, there goes his torso. That's what the back of this looks like. Again, it is there. This is a duplicate figure in the set. Like you get two of them, so we're only taking a look at this one. We're not going to move on to the next one. But uh, yeah, that's all for the head. The last figure you get in this set is the clone, Fever First Clone Specialist. So, yeah, he looks real cool. I think this is a new part of the binoculars on his helmet. It's going to up like that. And it's the same helmet as the officer, so it's not really anything cool or special. But that part is, I believe that is new. And then you can see he take his helmet off. It's just the same clone face. And he's the only figure in the set to have blue arms, which does give a really cool look. He all, again does not have any uh, printing on his hips, but uh, he does have a shared leg print. Like if you bring the two heavy troopers, you can see they all have the same legs. So uh, I 
think it's the same legs as the other five of first troopers we got. But um, yeah, see, this is the this is the exclusive legs to this set. But he does have an exclusive torso with these markings there, and then some different stuff going on with his torso. But in the back, there's nothing special in the back. But yeah, really solid mini figures for this set. I think this is better than the, the first battle pack we got. Figures wise. So this is the main build of the battle pack. This is it's just like a, a scaled down artillery cannon. Like I think these are much larger in universe. Uh, there's a seat right here to accommodate a heavy trigger that is intended to be driving this thing. I don't know if this is a walker or maybe it just kind of supports. I think it yeah, just supports. But they can be angled around because they're attached to ranges and there is some articulation to them. And you can see that they probably can go down further. To accommodate different form of shots, and there is a clear piece underneath that. Oh, yeah, just a little spider thing. I don't think, again, I don't think this is supposed to move, but it just moving the clone out of the way. You can see uh, this side. I don't like that. Like how you can see the hollow studs there, that's really ugly to me. And I don't like that. Particularly, don't like that. I don't like the yellow. It doesn't make sense to me when the color scheme of this set. But uh, this is a solid build overall. You can see there's some silver, some maroon. There's some touches of color which are good. I still like the yellow. But uh, yeah, it's a cannon. I really like this build up here. It uses one of those. Uh, I don't know what to call this part, but you do get an extra of it. Uh, this is what it looks like. Got some gold. It's used for many different things. Uh, if you heard me sniffling earlier, I do have a little bit of gold. So sorry about that. But, uh, this is on a hinge, two hinges, so it can be moved up and down like that. And it has a sort of shooter, which we've seen many times before. So I'm just gonna shoot straight forward so I don't lose it. But yeah, that's how it looks without that. But uh, yeah, not really what much to say about it. There is this technic part here, but I think that fits in really simple right here. Yeah, it's just a simple build, not much more. So this is what you get in terms of packaging. This is your 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack box, which is uh, rather small. It's the 20th anniversary of the original uh, 2D animation. Clone Wars is being celebrated with this. So yeah, you know that's Clone Specialist on top. But uh, yeah, just it's like a interesting thickness. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. They don't have the box art, but this CGI render of the set is not as bad as it could be, so I won't fault it on that, but I do wish that they would change it to the box art that we used to get. And there's the back. And I think yeah, there's an ad for the tie bomber and the, um, the Slave 1 sets. This is your alternate pieces here, but this is your extra parts you get, so, um, yeah. Get some nice parts, so you also know to be these right here, but you also get some of these. Oh yeah, and this, this is a printed one by one tile, which makes the backpack for the heavy troopers. So, uh, yeah, so this is really solid extra parts, and uh, for other parts, Visors and rangefinders are all uh, a blue color for these parts, which I believe are new for this set because they came in orange exclusively to the uh, ATTE for 2022. So I think that's it for the extra parts, but I do believe these are new. And this is new. So yeah, they get some nice stuff here. So that's good. So this is a very good set. Like you get some great figures. You get a very respectable build for a battle pack, and the uh, leftover parts are really good. Uh, Value-wise, okay, this feels like this should be, the build feels like it should be a $10 set. Like, if you get all of these out of the way, and just have this, like if it was a clone trooper, and the cannon, that would be uh, $10. That's what I would pay for that. And then for the other three minifigures being thrown in, I believe this would round up, for me at least, 
Yeah. I think that would, make, that would make sense. I get why it's 20. Like, why is it even fees? The fact that uh, it is 2023 is still a little bit some inflation. This is not terrible, but I wish it was better. But there definitely could be a better value for this. But that's that's my thoughts. So let me know what you think of this set down in the comments. My name is Jim, and I do videos like this for Lego sets. And there are more on the way, so stay tuned for those. Feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Or I said adios. Sorry. Adios.